Round 18 VPL action, South Melbourne taking on the Oakley Cannons. They've been resurgent over the last couple of weeks south and they desperately need three points again today. But in wild and windy conditions and the pitch looking a bit ordinary, John Caro, it'll be very tough for them here today. It will be tough, David, uh, but South has got the form against Oakley. It's uh, going to be a very, very difficult game, but uh, a win today against the Cannons and other results going favourably will see South end the round in fifth spot. So certainly all to play for here, Jack Edwards Reserve. Well, Oakley with the first real chance of the game here. That one whipped in and ooh, just about something out of nothing there. The marking's got to be a bit tighter there from South. Kept alive by Epifano. He's got a runner on the left. Decides to go the other way. He's got Sulsma. Excellent last week. Sulsma puts a shot in and Italiano not bothered terribly by that one. South making their first real chance here, John. South with their first real chance here, but of course uh, Italiano uh, very solid in goals for the Cannons and makes a regulation save. Jawadi tries to turn on the pace, keeps his feet well, Jawadi. Jawadi lines up the shot, it goes across the face in wide. South Melbourne starting to look better over the last few minutes, opening up Oakley's defence a bit. Epifano can't grab that one and the ball's... Flicked on here, and there's a chance now for Zorich. It's opened up. Marla can't clear it. Goran Zorich comes in. Great save, Kavalis. Kavalis got down to that one quickly. He came out nice and fast there, and Goran Zorich denied by a great bit of keeping. Excellent play all around here, David, as we see Zorich spring the offside trap, get on the other side of Marla. Marla can't, uh, can't get the ball there as Zorich speeds through on goal, but Pete Kavalis off his line very quickly and gets his hands up and makes a crucial block. That's an excellent save from Zorich there. Well, they look to switch it on this left-hand side, and... Epifano eventually brings it under control, plays it across field, but Oakley should be able to deal with that one. Oh, they haven't here. It's gone straight through for Rickson and he's scored. Well, how about that, John? It seemed like a harmless ball forward by Epifano. Oakley could not clear their lines. In fact, if anything, they gave a perfect through ball for Trent Rickson, and he's a goal-scoring machine now. He gets his fifth of the season. South 1-0. Well, as we see from the replay here, David, it looks like Oakley's uh, got it under control, and in the end, it's a through ball from a shocking back pass, back pass that plays Rickson through. Taliano comes out and uh, Rickson just dinks it over him and into the back of the net to open the scoring as we see here. Italiano coming out but Dick, Rickson getting there first and just uh, lofts it over him and into the back of the net to open the scoring. South taking the lead here through an Oakley mistake and a very bad one at that, David. 1-0 South and they'll be loving that one now. They've got the momentum. Norton hits that one flat and low. Probably the best idea in this win. Italiano hasn't dealt with the chance for Rickson. Oh, almost a second there from another Oakley mistake. Well, they look to clear this one, but they're dallying on the ball a bit. Oh, no, they've done it again. This time, Epifano goes across the face and couldn't make it 2-0. They've had a few chances there, South Melbourne. And, geez, Oakley, they've got to watch their defence here. They certainly do, David. As we see this time, it's Hayden Doyle with a shocking back pass. And Epifano gets onto that one. He had a bit of, bit of time, David. He could have even played Rickson through there for an easy tap him. And in the end, it goes wide. Well, that one's played by Bran. And well, that one looked like a foul on Jawadi, but not paid. Play on is the call, and now all of a sudden, Oakley with a chance to go forward. It's a chance here maybe for Dusan Bosniak, puts the shot yes. off the post and bounces clear, and South Melbourne will get it away. Well, geez, that looked dangerous, that ball there. Well, it looked like a foul on Jawadi in the middle of the park, but nevertheless, the referee plays, uh, let's play go on, and we see Dusan Bosniak, a former South player, whose shot beats Gavalis, but not the far post, and South clear the danger eventually, living dangerously South. Norton should get this one back here from Hopper, and he does. Tyson Holmes, back now for Luke Hopper with the shot. Hopper, it dips and it almost bounces through that dirty bit of rough patch. Hard for the keeper there, but going wide in the end. Well, it looked like Italiano had this cover, but then at the last minute he uh, sort of lets it go after a goal kick, David. Uh, you would assume he thought, you, you know, he knows what he's doing here. As we see, the uh, shot from Hopper probably could have gone in and had a, had a shot closer in, David, and in the end it goes wide for a goal kick. Jawadi, Hopper. Hopper tries to get behind the defence, keeps his feet. They don't quite clear a chance for Holmes. Oh, Tyson Holmes, it's an absolute rocket. He got the height right that time, just couldn't quite direct it. Now, Oakley, they want to strike back early in this second half, and this is a good chance. They're opening up the shot there. Good save. I think it was Doyle with the shot, and Cavallis does very well there, stretching to tip that one over. Great play here by Oakley. A very good lead up here as we see the back heel finding Doyle. Doyle through one on one with the Gavalis and again Gavalis alert and uh, gloves that one over the crossbar. And another fine save by the South goalkeeper and South maintain their 1 0 lead. Holmes tries to play that one out but only as far as the 
crowding Oakley midfield. And they've got a chance now. Zorich makes a run into the middle. The shot instead is the one coming. Kelly should get that clear. Oh, he's missed it here. Chance for Doyle. Played in. A shot cleared off the line by Mahler. Played in again. And Gavalas has kept it out. Well, that is unbelievable. Desperate defending by South Melbourne. Somehow, somehow they're keeping their clean sheet. Well, they are living very dangerously uh, south as we see Kelly failing to clear the danger. The ball's cut back for Bosniak. He uh, really should have done better there. In the end, Mahler does very well to clear off the line. Bo Bosniak with another follow-up shot. And in the end, it falls into Gavalas' hands. He's very relieved there, as is the south defence, David. Well, they're on the charge now, Oakley. They're opening up south here, and there's another chance here. Great chance for Zorich. Another great save by Gavalis, and they'll get it away again, South Melbourne. Well done there by the South Custodian. Brilliant reactions. Well, this is just another brilliant save. He's been on fire today, Gavalis, as we see Zorich um, get through there, and uh, Gavalis spreads himself, comes off his line, and blocks the shot, and in the end, the danger's cleared once more, David. Oh, that's a bad mistake coming out of defence. There's a great chance here now. Hopper, he's got men in the middle. Luke Hopper, he's gone down there calling for a penalty, it's paid. The referee points to the spot. Luke Hopper looked like he was brought down trying to turn around there. Didn't seem to be a whole lot of contact, John, but it's been paid. Yes, it's a bit of a soft penalty, David. However, we've had them given against us before, so it has evened itself out. On, and on this occasion, Stephen Gray, the defender there, checks Luke Hopper as he goes into the area. The referee points to the spot and it's Hopper himself who can score this, David. Up steps Hopper, and no mistake, South Melbourne have a 2-0 lead. Luke Hopper with a beautiful, cool, calm finish on the penalty. He won it initially. South Melbourne with a 2-0 lead now. 63 minutes gone. A big moment in the game. It could be securing the three points there. Well, it's absolutely vital that uh, he buries this, and, and he does so. And it's five goals in four games for the club now with Hopper. Brilliant return for the player that signed from Danny Nong in the transfer windows. We see him step up, and uh, Italiano goes the right way, but it's too good a penalty, and it hits the bottom corner of the of the net. Italiano has no chance there, and South's lead is doubled here, and now it's time to close out the game, David. Well, South Melbourne have a chance now to secure it with just under half an hour to play. And a substitution, Luke Hopper, a well-earned rest. It looks like he was favouring one of his ankles. On comes Alan Kearney, so Hopper can get some treatment. That ball played long. Not a bad idea in this win, to be honest. And that's exactly why, because Trent Rixon comes crashing through. Rixon now with a chance. Oh, just across the face. Trent Rixon, a great run. He got the shot off in the end, just couldn't quite get it on target. In fact, I think it's been tipped wide, so Italiano gets a touch there, John. You're right there, David, because uh, Trent Rixon acknowledges Italiano's save. As we see Rixon get there, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, and Italiano sticks a leg out and makes a brilliant stop. That would have been 3-0 and game over for sure, as we see here. Rixon with the shot, and in the end, the leg comes out from Italiano and deflects a wide for a corner. That's a brilliant stop by the keeper. Holmes gets his run going. He might use Epifano. Back for Holmes. Good ball. Might turn inside. Tyson Holmes gets on the left foot and didn't quite direct that one as he would have liked. Looks like he mishit it in the end there. Good chance, but South can't get that third. Well, Tyson Holmes, uh, he's itching to get on the uh, scoreboard, isn't he, David? But uh, in the end, this is a very difficult chance. And I think he may have lost his footing in the end with Nick Sulzmer in the penalty area. He should have cut that back, but in the end, it goes harmlessly over. Italiano goes for the quick throw option. Oh, Brad Norton straight onto that. And he's got men in the middle here, Bradley Norton. Puts that one up. Great chance for Rickson. Oh, dear. He's put the header right at Italiano. Should have done better with that one there, Trent. Well, this is bread and butter stuff for a centre forward, isn't it, David? That is a brilliant um, cross for, for Trent Rickson. In the end, he directs his header straight to Italiano, and the danger's cleared. This one floats up high. The clearing header doesn't get out of danger, and it's trickled through. It's gone, and it's a goal. Yes, it's a goal. I couldn't see who got the last touch there, John. It was bobbling around like a pinball machine, and it is 2-1. Once again, Oakley are back in this game. Well, once again, South failing to clear their, their line here. As we see, Kearney's header hits Rickson, and the ball bobbles in the goal mouth. And in the end, it's Bosniak that just sticks a leg out, and it trickles into the back of the net. It's a horror goal to concede. And Oakley's halved the deficit here, David, with 15 minutes to go. Anything can happen now. Gavalis tries to punch that one and let the wind carry it. Nothing doing though, it won't get through. Here comes Krenčevic and Zorich. Zorich lays it up, good chance for Krenčevic. Good save, Gavalis got the arm down well and the ball will eventually no, it won't bounce behind. It'll be cleared. Great chance there. Well, Jesse Krenčevic, the sub here. He could have scored against his former club as Gavalis comes charging off his line again, David. But he just manages to scramble get, scramble back and get his hand down and make another firm save. He has been the man of the match by far here today. Gavalis pumps that one long and high. Now here's another chance, Rickson. 
He's done well here. Trent Rickson with the left foot, saved by Italiano. Maybe if he got onto his right there, if he'd been able to, it would have been more powerful. Nevertheless, a good chance there. Well, Rickson, he takes down brilliantly in the... Uh He's uh, obviously on a difficult angle, and in the end he goes for the shot, which Italiano, as you would expect, he comfortably saves at the near post. However, Trent Rickson has had a superb game today. Well, Reese Meredith is the injection of fresh blood. Nick Epifano coming off for a rest. And Sulzma coming off for a rest now. Jonathan Munoz making his debut for South Melbourne will get a run here today. They're desperately holding on here, South Melbourne. Well, waiting for that whistle, and the referee obliges. It's all over here. In Oakley, John Cairo, South Melbourne held on grittily for that win. It was the, exactly the kind of result they needed here today. Tough conditions, tough match, tough opponent, but three points. Yes, it was, David. It was an excellent result. Um, it was never going to be easy here, and all we wanted was to grind out a result. It was to see the match stats very even, and uh, we have to thank Avalis for some outstanding saves today. And in the end, we did enough. Um, we rode our luck at times, but it, uh, we got the two goals, and we managed to hold on, and uh, it was a very good performance here today. How'd you feel in that last 10 minutes there? Um, oh, well, look, these conditions, it's hard to play in. Um, yeah, they snuck, snuck one late, but I thought we were, we were a pretty good team today. Um, thought we, we deserved the points. Um, Pete Gavala's couple of saves at the end there were just ridiculous. I don't know how he did it. So, look, it's good to hold on for the, the three points, but look, we go back to, uh, next week and um, hopefully get another win. Let's talk about yourself for a moment. Your rich vein of form has been fantastic over the last few weeks. Are you feeling fitter? You seem to be moving a lot better out there. Yeah, well, well that's my first uh, 90 minutes under my belt. Um, obviously, you struggled a bit at the start of the year coming back from injury, and then I copped a couple of little nigglies. So, look, the last four or five weeks I've been training flat out, and um, look, I'm just only going to get fitter and fitter and hopefully keep banging a few goals away. Didn't feel like I'd done a lot in the game, so I, I wanted to sort of, you know, um, get a goal and obviously won the penalty, so it was a chance to sort of, you know, do something in the game. So, you know, I was delighted. You do realise, of course, Hume City having lost today, we will be jumping into fifth at the end of the round. That's a big move. That must give the boys a real lift. Yeah, like we're, we're confident. Obviously, we had a good win last week, another good win today. It wasn't a, a great performance, but you can see the conditions and we just grinded out the result in the end of the day. And, and we are, yeah, like I say, full of confidence going into the last couple of games. I've got Pete Gavalis here with me. Unfortunately, not a clean sheet in the end, but I tell you what, it was about as close as we could have gotten. I think he probably deserved it. Great game today, mate. Thanks, mate. Cheers. I don't know what we've got to do to get one, but... Three points, three points. So. Now, let's be honest, this is, these were very tough conditions here today. It was uh, gale force winds, it rained for a while, the sun came out and blinded you, and uh, the, the pitch was very sandy. I mean, as a goalkeeper, you must look at that and think, God, it's going to be a tough day. Yeah, it's not the nicest of conditions, and you kind of just want to have one of those games where you're not as busy, but um, today was kind of the opposite, but it, it worked out okay. The boys um, the boys battled really hard, because it's you know it's kind of double as hard in, the, in those sort of conditions. Um, but, yeah, three points, three points, so we're, we're happy, everyone's, everyone's happy. I know the three points is the most important thing, but I mean, if you're being honest with yourself, you'd love to get a couple of clean sheets before the end of the season, wouldn't you? Yeah, it would be nice, but um, you know, I'm not hugely concerned with how many I've got this season or how many I've ever got. Um, we really want to make finals, so you know, that's that's the main thing. Well, it starts next week against Pascavale. Obviously, we held them scoreless last time, but the problem was they did the same to us. Are you confident this weekend we can really consolidate our place in the top five? Yeah, well, the way we've been scoring goals lately, um, I think so, absolutely. Um, so. You know, defensively, I don't think I touched a ball against them last time. So, you know, it'd be a different type of game than today, but um, where we've been going, you know, hopefully things keep rolling forward. After last week, you said you were a bit disappointed with the defensive effort. I'm curious to get your thoughts here today after what was a very tough game. Look, I mean, the game was a little bit different today. I mean, it's like a derby atmosphere and both teams playing for a position in the five. Um, I thought Pete Gavalis was outstanding and you know, it's hard to criticise the defence. I thought they played well in patches, you know, and defended very well. And the goal was a bit of a scrappy goal. But again, you know, I'm disappointed in, in the fact that we want to get clean sheets because that builds our momentum. But um, the way we ground it out at the end, even at 2-1, just showed a bit of character and, and the, the boys are, are coming together as a group and as a team and as a unit. Obviously, with wind, rain, sun glare and a, uh, a bit of a dodgy pitch out there with some of the sand, can you prepare for a situation like this or do you just have to deal with the weather conditions on the day? No, I mean, look, the big thing we spoke about today was uh, sometimes you don't have to play pretty football to be effective and, and that was going to be the case today. We, we had to be uh, pretty consistent in our defending and not make mistakes. I mean, we, we spoke about the game would probably be decided on mistakes with the wind and the, and the blustery conditions and uh, that, that's how we scored our first goal. Um, you know, so it was just a case of grinding out a result today rather than trying to play good, pretty, effective football. 
We've got Pascavale next week. A win there would see us in a great position going towards finals. Uh, now, unfortunately, it's before you joined us at the club, but we did have a bit of a disappointing nil-all draw last time. What do, we got to, what do we have to do this week to make sure we find ourselves on the winning sheet? Uh, score more goals than them. Uh, that's probably the most hot. But, you know, I think we, if we apply ourselves the way we can and, we, and we've got a consistent team that's going out in the park that knows the roles, uh, we're always going to create chances, as you saw today. Um, and as long as we defend to, to our capabilities, uh, there's no reason why we shouldn't get another result.